Hello guys, welcome back to all lectures. So in this video, we're gonna uh, cover a new concept, which is basically register spelling. So as we mentioned, you know, before, uh, uh, the register file basically is a location in which the, re the registers uh, are located inside the processor are very fast to access because they are smaller in numbers. So uh, if you have you know some variables in your program, you try all the time to uh, you know to to store these values in uh, or variables in registers. But we have a restricted number of registers, like 40, for example, 32 registers. And basically some of them are not used to store variables. So you even have less than this for, uh, for variables and the constant in your program. So for this reason, you know, uh, we're going to use, you know, the memory. And this operation of using the memory to store variables in the program is basically spelling. This is called spelling. Okay. Uh, the problem with that is basically dealing with memory has two problems. First, it is slower than, you know, uh, accessing the registers. Number two, you know, you have to load and to store, and you have to store first and to load the variable when you use it. And that's basically cause more instructions. So more instructions, and even this instruction, uh, which is load and store, have more, uh, you know, delay, or slower to be executed than, you know, using registers. Okay, and for that, for that reason, when we do, when we design compilers, you know, the compiler must, uh, like, you know, make some statistical analysis about the program. And the frequently accessed uh, variables should be stored in registers, and the less uh, frequently used variables should be stored in uh, the memory. Okay, good. So, again, register spelling is basically uh, spelling is a process by which caller functions store extra argument. Yeah, well, this is one of basically one of the uh, of the use of spelling. So, as we said that, you know, uh, the argument that passed to the procedure is, is, is stored in A0, A1, A2, A3. And the returns are v stored in V0 and V1. Now, the question is, what if we, what if we want to pass more than four variables to the procedure or the function? Or what if we want to return more than two uh, you know values from the from the function okay and this is basically when the spelling comes so if we want to for example pass four five variables you're gonna pass four of them in a0 a1 a2 a3 and then the fifth one will be in the stack will be in the memory and that will need load and store okay so let's have an example here so this function is, is full function here is basically a function that receives six arguments a b c d e f and it just returns the addition of all these arguments okay so basically a will be one here b will be two c will be three d will be four e will be five and f will be six so we're gonna just add all of them together and this is basically x. Okay, this is x here. Okay. So let's, you know, see how we can program this in assembly because we need more than four variables. So basically, we're gonna pass a in a0, b in a1, c in a2, d in a3, then this e and f will be stacked, will be stored in the stack. And we're gonna load them here in the you know in the program. Let's see. So main itself is the main function is a procedure by itself. It's a, the main procedure. And that's why here in the beginning we're gonna uh, you know uh, save some space in the stack to store E and F variables. So, uh, you know, 
main just like normal any other procedure all the time needs not to mess with the stack and need to return the stack pointer to its original location before you know uh, before ending the you know the procedure okay so basically here since we're gonna pass e and f variables to the stack we're gonna add uh, a to, we're gonna I'm sorry add minus a to the stack pointer okay so basically if the stack pointer was originally here at 200 as we assume here so when we subtract 8 it will be at location 192 then we're gonna you know assign our value or assign the values to the our arguments so we're gonna pass 1 into a 0 2 to a 1 3 to a 2 4 to a 3 then it comes to you know e and f so basically this is a this is b this is c and this is d now for e and f we're gonna store their values in t0 and t1 but then we're gonna uh, add you know store t0 and t1 into the stack so we're gonna start by t0 so t0 will be here which is basically f and in that case it's 6 and then store t1 at uh, at uh, you know uh, shifting b by 4 so at 196 we're gonna store t1 which is 5 then we jump and allocate to foo here is foo so we're gonna jump here okay so uh, first, so of course, we're gonna return is a, is a return in v0. So a0 should be a0 plus a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus you know uh, what's in the 0 sb, yeah, I mean t0 here, plus 4 sb, which is t1, which is 5. So uh, first we're gonna add a0 and a1 and assign the result to v0 so we're gonna first add a0 and a1 then we're gonna add v0 which is now a0 plus a1 plus a2 then add v0 and a3 then we should load t0 and t1 the 5 and 6 e and f variables and add them to v0 as well so load t0 0 sp and then load t1 and 4 sp so t0 now has 6 and uh, t1 has uh, 5 then we add v0 to t0 which will add uh, you know e then we add v0 and t1 which will complete the you know all the registers here then finally here we uh, add you know a to sb so sb will return to its original location and we jump return uh, ra so we're gonna return here and you know assign v0 to s0 assuming that you know we want our final result to be stored in register s0 okay that's basically guys you know the uh, the register spelling thank you for watching and see you in the next video